Hey guys, back with another wrestling game, WWE WrestleMania 19, for the GameCube only. And as y'all know, WrestleMania 919 was held in Seattle, Washington at Sickle Field. And they sent a game out of it in 2003. So anyway, got your modes, got Expedition, King of the Ring, Shop Zone, Superstar, Superstar Profiles, Options, and Tutorial, and Career and create superstar and this story mode revenge which I won't be doing that guys trust me I have done revenge before and it's not easy it's a pain <laughs> trust me so anyway we'll check out expedition later and the king of the ring is just like the king of the ring so and you got shop zone yep. welcome to the world wrestling entertainment shop zone I'm Stacy Keebler your personal assistant so anyway here's your uh, how can I help you so anyway, you got all all these uh, things that you have to buy for your create character mostly. Is your parts, entrances. Please select an item. See so like hairdos and attires and everything else. Please select a category. And there's entrance animation and scene effect. Please select an item. So it's like your crit entrance in a way on that. And else moves. Please select the category. Please select an item. And see, and there's your finishers you, you can get too. So, yes, yeah, that's your moves in kind of a kind of a preview. And then weapons. Please select. Please select an item. And now uh, here's your weapons that you can get on the cash. You got a bamboo sword, sledgehammer. Fluorescent lamp, guitar, bar bar 2x4, fire extinguisher, Ethan Ware statue, Ethan Ware pot, wooden chair, concrete block, bottle, and then no items. So, so I guess that's the shop on things that are in there. Go earn some more cash and come see me again. I don't know if that was a real voice or not, but. <laughs> And also, here's the superstars. I'll just go by profiles. I won't uh, go through the uh, uh, select characters. But anyway, got the rock, and they see there's a finisher, the rock bottom. There's Triple H, the game. And I'll do the uh, announcing. I forgot to do that. And for Venice Beach, California, weighing at 270 pounds in high feet, six, 6 feet 7 inches, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And from Houston, Texas, weighing at 305 pounds in the height of 6 feet 10 inches, Big Evil The Undertaker. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing at 237 pounds, the height of 6 feet 2 inches, the American hero, Kurt Angle. And from Houston, Texas, weighing 256 pounds, a height of 6 feet 3 inches, a five-time WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Booker T. And from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing at 235 pounds, a height of 6 feet, RVD, Rob Van Dam. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing at 295 pounds, a height of 6 feet 4 inches, the next big thing, Brock Lesnar. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, what weighing at 240 pounds, a height of 64 inches, Edge. I was gonna say the radar superstar, but that was a little later on in, in his career. And from Baltimore, Maryland, at a height of 5 feet and 11 inches, Stacy Cabler. Kind of weird finisher, huh? <laughs> and from San Diego, California, weighing at 175 pounds, a height of 5 feet and 6 inches. 619 Ray Mysterio. And from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing at 227 pounds, a height, height of 6 feet, Y2J, Chris Jericho. And from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, weighing at 229 pounds, height of 5 feet and 10 inches, the crippler, Chris Benoit. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, 
Trish Stratus. And from unknown, weighing at 326 pounds, the height of 7 feet, the big red machine, Kane. And from Duckleyville, weighing at 293 pounds, the height at 6 feet 4 inches, Baba Ray Duckley. And from San Antonio, Texas, weighing at 225 pounds, the height at 6 feet 1 inch, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And from El Paso, Texas, weighing at 228 pounds, the height of 5 feet 8 inches, Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. And from Tampa, Florida, what I weighed at 500 pounds, a height of seven, seven feet two inches. Big nasty bastard, the Big Show. Never heard that nickname before. <laughs> and from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing at 225 pounds, a height of six feet two inches. Matt Hardy, Virgin 1.0. From Stanford, North Carolina, Lita. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weight weighing at 234 pounds, the height of 6 feet 1 inch, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. And from Detroit, Michigan, weighing at 275 pounds, the height of 6 feet 2 inches, Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing at 225 pounds, height of 5 feet 10 inches, Christian. And even though he's called Captain Charisma, but that had come on later until his career. And from Dugleyville, weighing at 250 pounds, height of 6 feet 2 inches, D. Von Dugley. And from Raleigh, North Carolina, weighing at 191 pounds, height of 6 feet, The Hurricane. And weighing at 318 pounds, a height of 6 feet 5 inches from unknown, Batista. From West, West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing at 240 pounds, a height of 6 feet 1 inch, the Doctor of Thuconomics, John Cena. And from Boise, Idaho, a height of 5 feet 7 inches, Tori Wilson. And from San Bernardino, California, weighing at 136 pounds and high at 5 feet 8 inches, Victoria. And from Victoria, Texas, weighing at 252 pounds and high at 62 inches, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And from Hollywood, California, weighing at 250 pounds and high at 66 inches, Gold Dust. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, Mr. Vincent K. McMahon. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. And also the GMS Smackdown during that time. And from Blackpool, England, I mean Blackpool, England, weighing 245 pounds, a height of 62 inches, William Regal. And from Wood. Woodbridge, New Jersey, at a height of five, five feet eight inches, Don Murray. And coming, and from coming, Nakto, Japan, what weighing at two hundred five pounds, with height of five feet nine inches, the Japanese, the Japanese buzzsaw Tajiri. And from Lama, Ohio, a height of, and weighing at two hundred thirty four pounds, a height of six feet, Al Snow. Yeah, I was about to say height first. <laughs> and from El Paso, Texas, weighing at 185 pounds, the height of 5 feet 9 inches, Chavo Guerrero. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing at 245 pounds, the height of 6 feet 4 inches, Randy Orton, the legend killer. And from Arlington Heights, Illinois, weighing at 270 pounds, the height of 6 feet 5 inches, Chris No... No... Nowoski. I hope, it's, well, I hope I said that right. This last name. It's kind of hard to pronounce. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing at 282 pounds. A height of 66 inches. Test. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing at 230 pounds. A height of 5 feet 11 inches. 
Lance Storm. Hey, a spare hearts finisher, a sharpshooter. <laughs> From Samoa, weighing at 350 pounds, height of 6 feet, 1 inch, Raw Kishi. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing at 283 pounds, height of 6 feet, 4 inches, Goldberg. And there you go, back to the rock. They only have these entrance anyway. From Miami, Florida, weighing at 275 pounds, height of 6 feet, 5 inches, the People's Champion, the Rock. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing at 272 pounds from 6, 5, 64 inches, the game, Triple H. I was going to say, here's the titles held to the, they actually give you their profile, their titles that they hold, and plus their finisher, so. So, not bad, huh? Toriel, well, that's like training for a superstar, revenge, so. Yeah, so you can do a, a new game, and plus you can create any superstar you want in this. Any superstar. Except the ones that are not selected in this. Which are Vince and Stephanie, I think. So, let's go with the matches in the arenas here. So, we've got the matches. got a single, and you go to normal, hardcore, ladder, table, TLC, cage, Hell Cell, or an Iron Man. There's a tag team, normal, hardcore, ladder, table, TLC, cage, hell in a cell, triple threat, normal, hardcore, ladder, table, TLC, cage, hell in a cell, fatal four-way, normal, hardcore, ladder, table, TLC, cage, hell in a cell, handicap, got normal, hardcore, ladder, table, TLC, cage, hell in a cell, and also the uh, Royal Rumble, which is the, uh, of course, you want, you, you can choose from 10 to 20 or 30, so... So anyway, to begin, I'll be doing a triple threat match, and it'll be a... Uh, well, I have a ladder match. And also, here's the arenas. Not very many arenas that they had in uh, last year's game in uh, WrestleMania X8. Got Raw, SmackDown, SummerSlam, the World Rumble, and WrestleMania 19. That's all I have. So anyway, I'll go to SummerSlam. And there's your uh, settings on the match. So we'll do a no limit, and entrance is on. All right. So this one, I'm going to go with the Heartbreak Kid. And to put in, why don't we have John Cena and Vincent K. McMahon. Plus, guys, you can put John Cena versus Hulk Hogan in this game, too, because it has never been done in any other game except All-Stars. <laughs> I think we'll obviously see Justin and that again. <laughs>
Well, guys, I forgot to tell you, there's uh, alternate tires as as uh, as well. So. events. I just busted John Cena open. <laughs> and John, Vince is in the ring. Just barely. <laughs> oh. Oh, I reversed it. Awesome. For some reason, I couldn't get out of the ring. Yeah. Let's see those guys finish it up.
Alright, we'll get in time. Shoot. Dang it. Oh, Jossie, take it away from me. Vince came out of nowhere. Okay, I don't know why I did, did that for. open. Oh, almost. I'm kind of afraid to pull my finisher out because I'm always on one of those blindside attacks. Like that. I don't know why I did that for her. Thanks, some John Cena's in the way. Oh, that's low. 
I'm just saying, guys, this thing's too loud. I can hear myself talk. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Hey, John's up getting the title. There you go. <laughs> Nope. Nah, your lifetime ends. What is John Cena doing? Guys, we're idiots. <laughs> this is a good ladder match, I sh should say. I don't want that. I want the ladder. Okay, he, uh, never mind. Yeah, I think we thought better of it. Oh, nice. That feels good, John. Oh, dang it. Almost had it. I'm working out in time. Let's get down. Eesh. <laughs> I hope he's talking. Well, I hope they're they're talking to Vince and not me. Well, in fact, Justin was was also a heel during this time too. So, ah, get me off, Vince. Well, you should know how to back it up.
Yeah, put your music boom. Knock them both down. <laughs> You're just that powerful. And the ladder is now in the a position I wanted. Yeah, go figure. I thought it was going to happen. Dang ladder. Dang it, Vince. This is going to be a long match. Okay, where did that come from? John Cena hit me out of nowhere. Come on, guys. I dare you come into the ring. Okay, he took it while he was laying down. He's gonna do it again. Nope. As Vince is, as as Vince has got enough fish right. The Dutch left sometimes when they just take a lot of your hands and you don't even know it. <laughs> Okay, he actually got his finisher up and he drops drop a weapon. To me, that's like a waste. And now my head's hurting. Put your lights out. Oh shoot, I thought it hit Vince. Dang it. Dang reversals. John Cena. Oh. There you go. Dang it. It was not mean to hit the ref, but oh well. Ah! I said, hey, why do that? <laughs> oh! 
Oh, so close again. Oh, so close. Getting Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah, yeah. with me. Damn, I'm not close enough. Nope. I was there, but just not close enough. What you think about John Cena? Oh. Thing of verses. <laughs> And so I'm even smarter than you. I know how to grab the ladder. Oh, he's gonna get up in time. Yeah, I knew it. Come on, man. It's one fight. Let's fight. Can't get it. Dang it. And dang it, I was in perfect scoring position, too. That'll work. I was, I was actually trying to grab the ladder. I, I should hope this match just doesn't over an hour. Over an hour. And which is it's uh, shaping up to. It's taking a very long time. And you can see why this is now one of my favorite games to play. Now, great. Now my back's hurting. That's awesome. I knew that was coming. Had this match one more than once, and I, and I and I didn't get it. Damn, damn events. 
Make your reversals. Same with Cena's. I just better let Vance or Cena win this ladder match. <laughs> Cross case stick or a. How can Dink stick, stick knock down a ladder? That was messed up. Give it to Vince McMahon, I'll take the losing, but man, that was a tough match. I would uh, love a rematch, but I don't want to go to the same crap. <laughs> okay, match number two. Okay, we'll do a tag team, and we'll do a har hardcore. And we'll go to WrestleMania for this one. Alright, so this one, we're going to do the Wrestlemania, well the guys that kind of headlined Wrestlemania, so to say. We're going to have Triple H, up against Triple H and uh, Kurt Angle versus, I'm going to hold it, there you go, versus Kurt Angle versus Booker T and Brock Lesnar. Well, I'll say that they're in championship matches at WrestleMania. Put it that way, so to say.
Here we go. Yeah, I kind of messed up there, but hey, it's the heels against the faces of WrestleMania, so. <laughs> oh, Brock's nailing me. It's done. Oops. Right now, I'm getting owned. And we're attacking the wrong people there, I see. Oh, chairs in the ring, my goodness. Just me, nail team with the book of chair, sucker. Oh, I just busted him open. Oh no, it's Krangle I busted open. I thought it was Booker T. Taking off this, the uh, straps. Brock, wrong guy. <laughs> he 
Atomic drop. Booker T's dizzy. Whoa. <laughs> Please. He just spin a Rudy up. I blocked it. Yeah, turning us to his finish up. Oh, shoot. I just got right in the way of that. Oh, shoot. He wraps in the way. Can you block it that time? Pedigree. <laughs> oh! I thought it was over! Oh, it was tough. Yeah, Bubba T.
on suplex. Oh no, it's a super arm drag. Almost. I just got out of the way too. Double team. Oh, Booker T's tough. One tough sucker. I got him, Kurt. Dang it! That's the second time he's done that. Oh! Dang, Booger T! You actually think one finisher is over, but it's not. Oh, dang, Brock Lesnar. Let the ref get out of the way. Oh no, not that five. Crap. And and uh Kringle is down. Okay, how come Brock didn't pin me? Oh, okay, now we both got a finisher job. This is not good. <laughs> Well, okay, that'll work. It's over. I can't get back up. Oh, Pringle kicked you out. Amazing. Oh, yeah, Booker T didn't get up. Damn. I can't get up. There we go. There we go, busted the Booker T open. Now Brock's lights hurting. Just want to Okay, that'll work. Now, uh, now, uh, don't tap Brock Lesnar. One, two, 
Dang it. Heard for being an idiot. Jeez. Can I mention not one, not once, but twice. Spine buster. Smart hurt. Smart. Yeah, you just pick him up and you taunt. That's smart hurt. Yep. Okay. Should it? I guess I should teamed up with uh, Rick, Rick Flair, Batista, or Orton. Because there's the F5. Yeah, this match may never end. Ref? Jeez, why did he count? There you go. Rock's busted open. Shoot! I knew that would happen. You deserve it. Third, stop taunting and get Brock Lesnar before I pin him. You idiot. Crap. This is a good match. <laughs> Two great matches, and the third one's gonna be even better. You guys on me, it's not cool. Well, at least I kicked out of it. Oh, awesome. Stop Tommy and get over here. There you go. Oosh. Let it be over. Good gosh. <laughs> Finally! Finally won a match, and it was a good one, too. Well, the heels win at WrestleMania. Thank <laughs> you, guys. I'll be back with the final part and the final match.